Hello, hello. It has been quite some time now, and as you can see, behind me is this contraption that I have put together. This is our monarch butterfly enclosure. If you don't follow me on Instagram, then you might not know, but we have been raising monarchs for a couple weeks now, not even a month, um, and I thought I would kind of show you what we've been up to. I'm learning a lot. Um, if you don't know the story, Winnie found this monarch caterpillar when we were at the thrift store. Uh, we were leaving and long story short, she noticed this little caterpillar um, right next to the sensor doors, like they were about to close. We were walking out and she was like, mama, look. And I looked, I would have never noticed it, but she is very observant. So I was like, oh my gosh, that's a monarch caterpillar. I ran to the car. I was parked very close to the door. So it was so funny. I wish I had a video of this, but she literally stood guard of the doors and made sure that they did not close because if they closed, it would have squished this caterpillar. Um, and she was very adamant to save the caterpillar. So I ran to the car, I grabbed a little cup that I had, a Starbucks cup, and we scooped the caterpillar up and it, thankfully it was right next to an Ace hardware store. So I guess this is where the caterpillar came from. It was big, it was, it was ready to go into chrysalis. We saved the caterpillar, we took it home, we bought one milkweed plant from that Ace because we gave it to the caterpillar he didn't need it, he was like so ready to go into chrysalis. We put him in this little enclosure that we had and he made it. We found out there was one egg on the milkweed plant that we bought. We put that plant outside. The next day it had like 10 eggs and then the next day it had like another 10 eggs. Our monarch butterfly exploded from then, from her finding that little caterpillar. I thought I would kind of take you along with me because this is just such a neat experience. So here's the enclosure I built. Um, I kind of put this together really, really quick out of scrap wood that we had. Obviously I bought the screen and then I bought the little hinges for the door and these little things to latch it closed. But yeah, so from that one milkweed plant, let me just show you all of the chrysalises we have right now. I think we have about 17, but look at this guy. That's not good. As you can tell, the leaf is turning yellow, so it's not ideal for him to go into chrysalis on a leaf. So I need to save him. I could leave him on this leaf, but as I said, it's starting to turn yellow. I am going to try to use dental floss to kind of tie a knot and then what I would like to do is maybe hang it from this little stick that I have. So obviously the lighting is not ideal. It is kind of late. Do you want to say hey? Mm -hmm. <laughs> My monarch butterfly rescuer. <laughs> okay, here he is. It's hanging. It's it seems sturdy, it's not falling. I need to trim these pieces, of course, but here it is, my first little transplant of a chrysalis. <laughs> it is maybe a week later, and I had to show you guys this magical scene that I found this morning. My little rig worked, he came out, but look at this. I counted 23 caterpillars all hanging in J this morning. Look at this guy. He's like hanging by the screen. That's crazy, but that means all 23 of them should emerge on the same day. Ah, I'm so excited. Wow, three of them came out this morning. We had four yesterday and six the day before that. That was exciting. 
it was exciting just to hold six. I'll insert a picture if I can, but 23. I don't even know what I'm gonna do with myself. So excited. There's another one going into chrysalis right now. And that one, this side, just went in. So they are all literally going into chrysalis at the same time. Let me see if I can show you once he turns green. There it is. See it at the bottom there? He's literally shedding his old skin off. How cool is that? He's right there. See him? Oh my goodness, a teeny tiny buddy. Uh huh. Wow. And we got these guys over here. Yeah. Isn't he cute? Mm hmm. Did you not even Look notice? Look at this one's eating the flower. Did you not even notice him? No, I didn't notice him. Good morning. It's about nine days later, and these buddies decided that today is going to be the day. So I counted um, 22 healthy butterflies coming out. We are so excited. It's humid out here, so... My camera is getting kind of foggy, but we we're getting ready to go to the gym and we wanted to see. <gasps> Did one come out? Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. The first one Did has emerged. Did you not know? No. Oh wow. Very cool. Hey, buddy. Open it really gently, okay? Boy? Yeah. Hi, boy. Oh. Whoa. He flew high. What a sweet buddy. Oh my goodness, look how many! It's the next day, we let them kind of be in the porch for 24 hours so their wings could dry and they are ready. We got them all back into our enclosure and Winnie is going to release them today. Look at this. We also had four more emerge so there's 24 in here. What do you think, girly? Is this special? <laughs> like, look at this. This is seriously special. To have this many that we raised from eggs. I just cannot. So Winnie requested to have a little picnic while her butterflies are released. I don't think they're going to fly out all at once because they're kind of congregating at the top right now. They're pretty calm. Can we let them out now? Yep. Okay.
bunch came out at once. Thank you.